Can you see my hands? Hi, I'm Rachel Wu and I'm an assistant professor of psychology at UC Riverside. So this research is about how to help older adults increase their cognitive abilities and functional independence. What we're doing is testing a theory that maybe one way of doing that is by learning new skills uh, and new skills that are difficult and things that you can apply to in the real world. For example, some skills could be um, photography or um, drawing, uh, Spanish, how to use an iPad. So the older adults in our study are 55 plus, so they range from 59 to 86. They're asked to come into classes for 12 weeks. Well, a friend of mine um, called and said that she had heard about the study. Uh, I wanted to do everything I could to uh, maintain my good brain functioning and, and, uh, and was fascinated in the concept of the study, so. I think and we are all, everybody's concerned about how old people function as they get older. It's challenging um, from the perspective of, of kind of overcoming old uh, scripts that we have running through yeah. our head that, you know, you can't draw and, you know, you know, what makes you think that you can do this. And... Uh, but it's a gradual thing. It's not like, oh, you don't notice it. You have to, somebody has pointed out to you, you're doing this better or you, you know, you're doing you're seeing things better or whatever. And, you know, and I got a, got some feedback from our, one of the, the uh, uh, music composition instructor for our first assignment, and it felt really good to get sort of positive feedback. When you begin the class, they give you a test to see what you know about it. And, I mean, the page is almost totally blank when you start off the class. At the end of the, end of the session, they give you the exact same piece of paper. And you were able to fill out almost the whole thing. So basically six hours of classes and then there's an extra hour of what we call a coffee talk, which is basically a discussion section with me. And in the 12 weeks, they have to also complete their homework as well, which ends up being about five hours a week or so. So 10 people out of the 25 or so in our study um, had pre-test scans of their brain and then post-test. So we're going to compare yeah. how their cognition and, and other kinds of behavioral abilities have changed over time. Just anecdotally, they seem to be much more confident, um, less afraid to face any challenges that come their way. They, they seem to be more outwardly, you know, willing to face anything that comes their way. We told everybody in the program that they're basically ambassadors, you know, for the program because we're only a few voices and uh, from them we can create a ripple effect to, to try to get the word out. Mm -hmm.